Protectum, Softnote is making a very solid push to the upside. Is this going to continue, let alone what is Tectum, who they are, what are they doing going forward, the tokenomics, everything you need to know about the project and their recent updates is going to be covered in this video right here. So make sure you stick around. Just remember, nothing I say is financial advice. My name is Zach, and if you'd like to join the Crypto with Zach Discord server and collaborate with like-minded crypto investors, link is in the description. So Tectum this month has made a very strong push to the upside as we can see right here with a lot of bullish volume. And I do not see this stopping. I think this is going to get mainstream attention very, very soon and get into the top 100 in a nice timely fashion. And there's a few reasons behind this, right? One, and we'll cover this soon, they have real world utility. And we're covering this one for a while. In fact, we ended up calling Tectum a, a nice $3.50. I think my cheapest order was around the $3.10 mark. So if you'd like to get all of my calls going into the future, make sure you subscribe. But we are pushing up and we're currently sitting at 180, uh, sorry, $180 million market cap. And if we have a look here, we have just absolutely risen over a 3x in such a very short period of time with a huge amount of volume now. And that market cap is a lot higher with around 50% of our coins in circulation. So what is Tectum? All right, Tectum is a layer one and a layer two. So it's cryptocurrency cash. It's digital cryptocurrency cash. And there, are, uh, sorry, there is a huge amount of use case for it. So Tectum, their layer one blockchain is the fastest blockchain in the world and can, all right, a million transactions per second can handle a global payment system, let alone a global payment cryptocurrency system. And if Mars had internet, I'd say it could probably handle an interplanetary transfer of value. But anyway, we can see that is 1 million transactions per second, the actual blockchain itself. And in peak performance can reach up to about 1.4 million transactions per second, 1.38 million transactions per second to be uh, correct, which is around 200,000 times faster than Bitcoin, which, you know, if you can send Bitcoin at the speed of light, it's going to make the use case, all right, the usability of Bitcoin uh, extremely large. It's going to take it to that next level, especially if you want to see cryptocurrency getting utilized in the future. So it's truly scaling crypto uh, and uh, scaling the reason of why crypto is here. And also it's sending other coins at an extremely fast pace with their layer two, right? Their soft note. Their soft note is cryptocurrency cash and it's the Tectum Projects Layer 2. So Tectum is a Layer 1 and a Layer 2 at the same time. And their Layer 2 product, their soft note, how it works is you can send any cryptocurrency that they wish to send. So on the soft note, say for example, you can send Bitcoin, you can send Ethereum, you can send Litecoin, you can send Cardano, there's other coins out there such as USDT, even Casper, all right? You can send all of these cryptocurrencies on a soft note from one Tectum wallet to another or over email, you know, over messenger, that sort of thing. And say for example, I wanted to send Tectum to you. All, right, all I'll do is fill a soft note, uh, soft note that would get filled with liquidity that would then get minted and sent to you, which you will receive instantly because the blockchain is incredibly fast, which you can withdraw those funds. And the beauty about a soft note is it's transactionless and it's fearless because it's actually a wallet. So when you make a soft note and fill it with cryptocurrency, no transaction is taking place. You're filling a wallet, which is then getting sent over to another person who receives a private key and accepts that wallet and those coins held inside of it into their general wallet. So that is how they're actually so successful and how uh, their product is being delivered. And there's a few other reasons why uh, Tectum is such an amazing project. And one of those is this reason right here. It's a crypto solution for businesses. And what these guys have been doing, what the Tectum uh, project has been doing and developers is they're getting large uh, partnerships with retail providers and businesses out there who, oh, sorry, who can accept cryptocurrency as payments as it is digitalizing cryptocurrency uh, into a cash. So say, for example, you're a retailer and you're selling phones and you accept soft notes. I can fill a soft note, then purchase uh, whatever you're selling, say, for example, that smartphone, and I can purchase that with a soft note and then receive that and you receive the cryptocurrency, which is a nice, uh, sorry, which is a very nice uh, touch on the project. It is also extra secure and extra anonymous as you're uh, basically filling a soft note. So it's a really good project all in all. What they're doing is exceptional. If we jump into uh, their tokenomics, we can see the distribution schedule, which we'll cover soon. But basically, uh, all the tokens will be out after a 36-month period and all unlocks should 
uh, be done by then, but we'll cover that soon in the tokenomic sections. So all in all, the Tectum utility is there and they have a few major narratives in the one project, which is good. If they can get across a few different, uh, few different narratives, I think this is going to be excellent for the project, let alone any project out there. I can also kind of see that, you know, Tectum's going to change the world narrative potentially coming out in the future, which in a crypto bull run is a major thing to have behind a project. So these little narratives that drive cryptocurrency price, such as Shiba Inu to $1, it's an absolute ridiculous goal and narrative that would never happen. But those narratives drive projects and I can see people truly believing and knowing that Tectum is going to change the world and I think this is going to create a lot of FOMO and create, uh, sorry, cause uh, the price to go absolutely parabolic in the bull run. And I definitely think there is still huge X's to be made. All right, so now let's jump into Tectum's tokenomics. So we can see our Tectum distribution and a key points to take out of this graph is approximately 25% of the tokens are used for the team and development, so aren't actually up for sale for the public, and around 75% of tokens in total will be available for public purchase. And this comes along with token unlocks. So our team's token unlocks are unlockable after 24 months, which will be late May of 2025. So we'll be pretty deep into the crypto bull run, if not out of the actual bull run itself. So for the team unlocking during the boring, there's nothing to worry about there, but it's only a small percentage of the actual tokens, but it's still enough to create unnecessary fear and FUD around the project. And all tokens will be unlocked uh, with the latest date of May 2026. Now, inflation rates. So around the Bitcoin halving, we'll have 50 to 60% of our coins in circulation, which will be about an extra 10% of the tokens from the current point. And around January 2025, approximately 70% of the coins will be in circulation. So there's only a small tokenary inflation hit, which isn't too bad. And I don't think a lot of us will be in by 2026 as 100% of the coins will be in circulation, which will be from the current point about a 2x on the current uh, circulating supply. So by January 2025, we should be pretty deep into the boron and we can see it's only really an extra 20% of the coins actually in circulation. Now I'll jump into some of Tectum's recent updates and achievements. So Tectum just hit 12,000 Tectum token holders and Tectum has just hit the top 250 coins and I believe for a very short period of time it was actually in the top 200, which is a massive achievement. I remember when this coin was down a lot further on the list and now you can only imagine how high it's going to go in the boron once it starts getting that real mainstream recognition. And a lot of crypto YouTubers are talking about it. The price, people are saying it's overvalued. People are saying it is at a high and it's probably going to come down. But is it? You know, we don't actually know the answer to that question. If an ETF gets approved and drives the BRC20 narrative, and this is ultimately scaling Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a whole, I can see this. Uh, sorry, I can see Tectum doing exceptionally well in a short period of time. I can definitely see this being a top 100 coin, and I can see it honestly. I can personally see this being a top 50 coin because it's an ultimate cryptocurrency payment cash uh, cash solution with a huge amount of utility. But that's still far in the future, but I do, uh, sorry, I do think it can hit that top 50 coins uh, quite easily, and I think it will, but that's not financial advice. They also, this is pretty cool, they have an iOS and Android app coming soon, which is going to make sending soft notes even easier. That's going to be a massive update for the project, and they are gaining popularity in China, and they're continuously signing uh, more merchant partnerships, which is really good. And the project and the team behind it, the developers are all pushing this project to its limits and gaining not only more utility, but more partnerships, more recognition from the cryptocurrency community and different entities out there. And it's really good what they're doing. It's good when you have a strong team that continuously pushes. I would uh, sorry, I'd much rather have my money in a project like this where the team is 100% active, they're known, they're doxxed, and they're going to push this project in excellent narratives forward compared to other sorts of projects out there. I'm not going to see this going exceptionally high in the bull run. So right now, the price action is uh, very bullish on Tectum. However, we had had a pretty solid rejection right here. And I will be looking to see if we take out the top of this range and continue on in our upwards motion. But this is really going to be dependent on the news, especially around the ETF. 
And that should be around Wednesday. So it's around two days away from the current point. And that is what I'm really going to be using to determine my bias with cryptocurrency in general. If we jump down onto the lower time frame, we can see we have had a nice rejection around this area right here. And we can see it's a pretty important area, but I'm certainly not going to be ruling this area here out. As we can see, there is quite a large uh, SNR level right here. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we flip bearish for some reason, we definitely come down to this line. However, if we do get some bullish news, it could be a continuation, wait for the break and continue going. However, I would consider this to be a temporary range. I'm going to see where the price goes from here in determining my bias because it really could flip either way at the current point. All in all, whoops, all in all, we've been doing very good. The uh, Sorry, the first call was around that $3.50 mark. So if you'd like to get in, make sure you subscribe and join the Crypto with Zach Discord server. And if you'd like to get insider access and get exclusive perks, make sure you check out the Patreon uh, link is in the description. There's a huge amount of benefits there. It will be closed on the uh, release of this video. However, a few days after the release of this video, it will be back up and running. We're currently going through a major update with the Patreon and the Discord server. So make sure you stay patient and it will be limited access once we get back uh, to control the growth of the actual brand itself. Apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. And apart from that, I hope the markets have been trending well and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.